everybody, we're back again on a Sunday. Today I want to talk to you about uh, insurance and why you should make sure and doubly make sure your contractors are fully insured. And when I say fully insured, I don't just mean they show you liability insurance, which is cheap. I mean liability insurance um, for one person is very minimal. Everybody should have it. Uh, I'm talking about they have employees um, and they should have workman's compensation that's required. And what I mean by that, and you'd think that everybody would have it, and probably everybody assumes that they have it, but you hire a painter to come into your house. He's a friend of a friend. Um, he shows up, gave you a great price, beat everybody out of the water, including us. Um, shows up with two guys. Just so happens, halfway through the day, somebody falls off the ladder and breaks their ankle. We'll just say something not too serious. Well, it turns out that... The, your friend of a friend is paying his friend cash, no workman's compensation, has liability insurance, so that's, that's great in case he breaks uh, you know, anything in your house or scratches your hardwood floor. But his friend now has a broken ankle and can't go to his regular job during the week. Guess who's responsible? Yep, the contractor and you. He'll sue both of you to get that money. So by trying to go with that low price, uh, instead of hiring a professional painting company, um, you've now moved the price way past what it would have cost by hiring that professional painting company. It's very important to check everything. Um, workman's compensation is something nobody ever checks um, because when you say, hey, show me your insurance policy, they're going to show you a liability policy, um, which also should come directly from the insurance company. The, the contractor shouldn't be uh, handing you his policy. Um, that's just another tip insurance-wise. It's a good tip. And uh, that's about it for today.